Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see by the title of today's video, we are in an A-class. But as you can tell, this is not my A-class, guys. So currently, my, my car is with Mercedes-Benz. Um, it was today getting its service and very first MOT. Um, and I was gonna do a big video about that. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, I completely forgot. I just took it to Mercedes-Benz this morning and uh, just, yeah, I just didn't even think to record. Uh, you're welcome. Um, yeah, so that was that out the window, but they've given me this lovely Mercedes A200 saloon, Mercedes A-Class, <laughs> in this white color, which was, I think it's probably the exact same white as my last courtesy car from my, well, my last video. Um, but guys, take a look. I really hope the camera's picking it up as well as my eyes right now, um, because look at this sunset. Holy, pardon my French, but holy shit. <laughs> it looks absolutely stunning. We're gonna go down that way just so we can, yeah, we we've, we've basically can get the, uh, the sunset in most of the video. I'm going for it because people are really slow. This car, even though it's an A200, so mine's a uh, A180, this is an A200. This is, this picks up very, very well. Very, very well. It actually feels like a four wheel drive car. Like that's how nice this car picks up. But, um, but yeah guys, I will um, get out the car later on in the video just to show you. Um, sorry, a bunch of people crossing the road when they shouldn't have been. Um, <laughs> yeah, to, just to show you around the car, why are you pulling out? Why have you done that then? That, that's, well, that was on camera. That's definitely going in the video. <laughs> I don't understand why people do that. Like, if you're gonna pull out, okay, that's one thing, but at least put your foot down so you don't nearly cause an accident. But, um, but guys, look at that sky it looks like there is a fire in the sky like it's absolutely stunning absolutely gorgeous but yeah we're gonna just head down this way guys and just just keep driving but yes guys so this is um, my courtesy car for today and tomorrow because Mercedes had discovered something with something to do with my uh, fuel flap um, on my car while it was getting its service and MOT today uh, so they're gonna sort that out for me overnight according to them but I think that's a load of Hocus pocus, and uh, <laughs> I think they're actually gonna sort it out for me in the morning, so hopefully I'll get my car back sometime tomorrow. But um, but yeah, this just gives me a little bit more time to enjoy this car, which is, uh, I'm not gonna complain, guys, because these newer, newer, well, the facelift models um, of Mercedes, I'm loving. Like, this new style of steering wheel is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, guys, I'm not gonna complain. I'm definitely not gonna complain. But look at that sky guys oh my god so yeah by the way guys today's video isn't really going to be a, a review on the car it's more just a nice peaceful drive and talk video guys pov drive and talk that's what it's going to be today <laughs> but how are you guys been it's been a little while since i uploaded my last well since i last uploaded a video um so yeah guys i'm just super busy working hard and saving for my next car as i literally say in every video um, but guys, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth the wait. And then hopefully when I, once I get my new car, I will be banging out lots and lots of content for you guys. Cause yeah, this, this new car is gonna be absolutely glorious. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that guys. Really looking forward to that. I hope you guys are looking forward to the new car though, guys. Cause I, even though yes, it is gonna be my car at the end of the end of the day and it shouldn't really matter what everybody else thinks as long as I'm happy but at the same time guys it's gonna be a big part of the channel and I want you guys to be satisfied with it but I am gonna keep it a secret until uh, well until I get the car of course because <laughs> it's just nice to just have that build up and then uh, guys I had the same when I had my well when I bought my Mercedes a a class and I picked it up for the first time and it was just, oh, there's some bags in the road. Hopefully we can just go, yeah, there's cars all the way down there. We're just gonna go around the bags. <laughs> oh dear, but look at that sunset, wow. But yes, guys, I did the same leading up to when I uh, picked up my Mercedes A-Class. 
Uh, and it's just gonna be the same as with the new car, but this new car is just a little bit better than the A-Class, just a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to ordering it, placing an order for the new car in March. And of course, after I've placed an order, I will make a video on that to let all of you guys know that I've ordered the car and then, yeah, and then it'll be the proper build up towards getting, well, towards picking it up. Um, Cause I, I, yeah, I'm not sure how long it will take. Um, I think maximum is like six months. So we'll probably be looking about September time next year, latest. But you never know guys, there's always, you know, with cars anyway, um, you know, we can be told one thing and then you know there might be a massive delay and I might have to wait a whole year but fingers crossed fingers crossed guys that doesn't happen I really don't want that to happen because that would be a that would make me very sad but I mean guys I've been waiting for so long already just to order be able to order this car um so yeah I really hope we don't have to wait that long but that sky is absolutely stunning I need a bit of open road just a bit of open road so we can see the glorious sunset before it goes because that has gone down very very quickly i don't even know how long i've been driving for but not that long maybe five ten minutes i've been driving for probably not even that long this is actually uh my little route to work well i say that where i work at a dealership we've got two sites so uh there's one in billericay and one in rayleigh um so this is this is, uh, yeah, on, on the way to one of the sites. Um, normally, I, I'm, I'm at this site every every Sunday. I normally go there unless they want me to pop in, you know, drop some cars off, pick some cars up. That's what I do, as well as photograph and video all the cars. I love my job, guys. I love it. And guys, if you are wondering, I don't get paid a penny for YouTube. So this is just purely for your entertainment, guys. I don't make anything out of these videos, but I really don't mind that. Like yes it would be nice oh look there we go nice bit of a come on can we pick it up can we pick it up that's good enough for me that is good enough for me that little oh we don't have much sunset left though but anyway yeah like yes it would help guys getting a bit of money from youtube but at the same time as long as you guys are happy with the videos and i'm enjoying myself while making the videos it shouldn't really matter because i've got a full-time job i'm it's not like i'm not getting paid very well like, i get paid very well from where I work like I, I absolutely but it, the thing is even if I wasn't getting as much money as I am I'd still enjoy it because it's not really about the money at the end of the day it's just about enjoying your job and 100% guys I really I love the job that I do half the time I go into work not even realizing I'm going into work it's basically just a massive hobby you guys know me I love cars so much I don't even care you know if they want me to work a whole year straight i'll freaking do it because i love what i do i yeah this isn't me trying to boast or brag or whatever i just yeah i love my job guys what can i say if you love your job you're brilliant <laughs> anyway we've got a bit of a faster road here so we can do a bit a bit of 60 miles per hour down here even though nobody bloody does it catching up to them we're doing 58 and there we're catching up so we're going to slow down a little bit especially because this isn't my car so we don't really want to ruin it not really but oh wow well i'm glad i got the sunset in the video it's now getting a bit darker you can now see the lovely ambient lighting i love this new style of dash um of the speedo the speedo speedometer um yeah this digital dash is absolutely gorgeous um, this is the sport one uh which i quite like i wish i had that in my car but i don't so unfortunately i'm just gonna have to put up with the classic because i think in my car the classic definitely is the best looking out of all of them but this one is the best looking out of all of them in, on this model for sure i'm gonna come down here go round and round I'm trying to find think of somewhere to like sort of stop off maybe and just sort of show you around the car but this is a lovely car If we're talking about body and styling on this car, I would definitely go for the hatchback version of the A-Class. I just think an A-Class should be a, should be a hatchback. Like that's just how it should be. But this isn't a terrible looking car. Like it's not it's not that bad and it's it drives very very nicely. I, I can't yeah, I can't fault the car. 
in any way really just apart from like my, my it's just my preference guys i would prefer a hatchback um if i'm getting an a-class overtake this cyclist sorry mate Oh, that's the car thinking I'm about to crash. I'm not going to crash car, don't worry. I already have my foot on the brake. But it's good that it's got, it's got the built-in brake assist. So, if, yeah, if you are, if you forget that you've got a foot <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you just forget to brake with your foot, then the car will do it for you. But I wouldn't rely on it 100% of the time, guys, because technology is, it's not fantastic. That's, yeah, that's all I have to say. Technology is not amazing but it's it's good enough i think i know a little place where i can park up i'm hoping that it's not on somebody's drive i just want to sort of um you'll see what i mean when i park up guys because my girlfriend she used to uh she used to work around here and i used to drop her off at where i'm gonna where i'm gonna park up and just show you around the car real quick i won't show you around the whole entire car guys because i Tomorrow I have a job with the school photography and I've got a load of photography stuff in the back. I'll open up the car um, and show you, but yeah, it's just gonna not, it's not gonna look like, if you was to buy one of these cars and have nothing in it, it's not gonna look like that because it's gonna have loads of stuff lumbered in the back of this car. <laughs> so I do apologize about that, but, but yeah, <laughs> this isn't my car. And it's not long guys until I do finish with the school photography. So then I'll, I'll, I'll have my car back to just being empty, which is fantastic. I like a nice empty car. And I want nothing weighing it down and destroying my fuel economy. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna come around here. Thank you for waiting, guy. Guy, no, it's a lady. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry. Right, so round here. So it should be coming up on our right. So this little bit here. I'll probably just do a little walk around. I won't speak because it's just a bit there. Yeah, it's just a bit embarrassing. I don't want, but if I come round here, spin it round, bung it in the middle, do a little walk around for you guys, and I'll get back in the car. <laughs> that rear view uh, camera is a little bit different to my A-Class because they've decided to update the camera with the newer with the newer cars. So, um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the had ha hazards, hazards, and we're gonna have a little walk around the car. Let's have a little walk around the car. I wanna just show you. And there you have it guys. Oh, just thought I'd shut up for a moment because you guys probably think that I never shut up. So there you go guys, there's proof that I can actually stay quiet for a little while. But there we go guys, it is a stunning little car this. Um, like I say, it's not my car, like type of car. I definitely, well, it's not my type of um, A-Class. I'd have to have it in a hatchback if it's going to be an A-Class. Any other car, like a CLA, obviously you, you can't get a CLA in a hatchback, but you can get it in a coupe, or I don't even know where I'm going now. Should we just go back this way? <laughs> you can get it in a coupe. Oh God, this is going to be a bit of a struggle. Don't ruin the car, Freddy. Ooh, there we go. What a stupid place to park though. Anyway, yes, uh, with a CLA, for example, you can get that in a coupe. I say coupe, I know a lot of people say coupe, but I say coupe because I'm I'm special. Um, but yes, I yeah, so you can get that either in a coupe or a shooting brake, um, which I 100% prefer a coupe with the CLA. Um, so yeah, guys, everybody has their, di I've said, um, 
what, what am I trying to say? Everybody has their uh, different preferences when it comes to different styling of each model of any car, really. You know, some people might want the saloon version of a um, BMW M3, whereas some people might want the, is it the Touring? Is that what, what they're called? The estate version, the Touring. I'm sure that's what it's called. But uh, yeah, we all have our different preferences. Um, but yeah, when it comes to an A-Class, okay, they're going really slow. Oh, there's a bus. But yeah, when it comes to an A-Class, and I've said this about 10 billion times in this video, but yes, I would prefer a hatchback. But this is still a lovely car. When we start, when we get onto the faster roads, I'll pull it in sport mode, just so you can hear the engine. But this is an A200, so this is a petrol engine. I'm not quite sure, is it a 1.5, this, with the A200? I need to double check. I don't think it's a two liter. There's no way it's a two litre, it can't be. It doesn't feel powerful enough to be a two litre. Anyway, let's pop her in sport now. And take her out of the cruise control. We're just gonna, as soon as we see these, there we go, the national speed limit, listen. It's not bad, you know. It's not, I, I do have to admit, this doesn't sound as nice as my A-Class, so I don't know what they've done different. But yeah, it doesn't doesn't give you as much of a vroom sort of noise. Let's do it again, ready? Let's use some flappy paddles. I like using the flappy paddles. Flappy paddle. I want to hear the engine roar at me. Yeah, it's, it doesn't sound terrible, but it doesn't sound as nice as my car, that's for sure. Anyway, let's pop her back into comfort mode. We don't want to waste lots of fuel. By just revving the nuts out of this car. Yeah, this car's quite fun, actually. I quite like it. But now you get to see, guys, at night, this car does come to life at night. That's why I like, uh, this is why I love Mercedes, because at night, they really do just come to life, especially with the ambient lighting. Let's see if we can change it to blue. Change ambient lighting to blue. Because a book. Changing the yeah, blue at night really does pop. I love it. But I do prefer it in red, just with this red uh, dash here on the screen. So let's put it back to red. It looks. What do you want to? Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, let's try that again. Mercedes. Hello. Okay. I can't help you with that right now. You can. Give, give her a sec, guys. Give her a sec to just work out what the hell's going on. What are you doing? You have not subscribed to this service. What? To use it, you first have to activate the service in the Mercedes Me app. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone, man. Right, let's try that again. Change ambient lighting to red. Okay, I'm changing the colour. Thank you very much. That's all That's all she had to do. I don't know why she started fanning it about. <laughs> oh. The one thing I do love about a brand new Mercedes, this is gonna sound really stupid, but the washers, they spray so lovely, ah. Oh. Guys, this is a lovely car, so yes, if you are looking for a Mercedes, and it, and it will be your first Mercedes, and you're on a budget, totally go for an A-Class. Yeah, guys, trust me, it's a lovely little car, this. Looking forward to getting home though, guys, having a bit of dinner, going to sleep. <laughs> it's been a long day, been at work all day. And I had to get up really early, especially to, to um, drop off my car to Mercedes. So I had to get there really early. So I woke up a lot earlier than I needed to today. Well, than I would normally do. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I just thought I'd take you on a little drive with this car because it's just nice to show you guys some different Mercedes cars on the channel because 
this is a bit of a Mercedes car channel now, really, isn't it, guys? I, I didn't mean for it to be, but you guys love the Mercedes content, so I'm going to keep doing that for you. Yeah, lovely. This is lovely. Okay, we're going for it, boy. We're going to go down here, and then we're going to come back on ourselves. Totally not because I was in the wrong lane to go straight over. <laughs> oh, dear. But yes, guys, that is pretty much today's video. Um, so I am I'm pretty much going to end the video here. So um, if you did enjoy today's video, guys, please give it a massive thumbs up. And if you didn't, okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say. This is a lovely little car. So uh, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end the video here, guys. Sorry, I am very tired. I, I need to get some sleep. I need to get home and eat and sleep. Um, and I'll probably edit this video whenever I can. Anyway, guys, I'm going to shut up now. If you did enjoy today's video, like I say, give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, I'm going to end the video here. So please subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you're not new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please do that. Peace. See you guys all later. Do love this car. It's lovely. Like I say, just wish it was a bloody hatchback and it would be perfect. Perfect to me. Perfect to me. Oh. Can't wait to hop into a new Mercedes, guys. It's gonna be so lovely. And look, there's a hatchback version of this over there. Same car as mine, pretty much, but just a facelift model. Absolutely love it, guys. Absolutely love it.